Coach Greg, and I'm here with Brandon Hillier. He's a 23-year-old aspiring bodybuilder. And today we're gonna go over some posing tips. A lot of you need to send progress photos to your coaches. We're gonna go and demonstrate exactly how to do those. So when he does get up on stage, he'll know how to properly display his physique. Okay, so let's first start off with the front relax pose from the front, okay? So let's see him demonstrate this from the front relax pose. So the first thing you wanna see is you wanna see his heels come a bit closer than that together. Toes are always pointing out about 45 degrees, knees slightly bent, exactly. By doing that, it allows you to show more width in the quads, okay? So we're trying to get this to be wider. Just do it wrong for a second. Stand with your toes straight ahead and do the same pose. Can you see the difference versus now open it up, spread out the toes. You see how much bigger his legs look just from doing that. It makes a significant difference. So the pose starts from the bottom with your feet. You're flexing everything. It might look like he's relaxed, but it's actually a tense pose. So from the ground up, he starts with his calves are tense, the quads are flexed. His stomach is sucked in so that his waist looks smaller and the lats are spread out wide and the delts are up. Great starting pose. Next up, we're going to be doing the back relaxed pose. So it's the, basically the same thing except in reverse. So let's have you spin around to the reverse. Now, this time we're trying to demonstrate some conditioning in here. A lot of times I see people showing poses and they're completely relaxing the hamstrings. So what you wanna do here, your heels need to come quite a bit closer together. And to show the calf muscle, you want the heels to be couple millimeters off the ground. So slightly elevated, not, not that much, just enough to engage the calf muscle. So you can see some striations coming up through here, okay? And as he gets leaner, this is in his off-season condition. If he got leaner, you'd be able to see even more definition. So right now he's tensing the hamstrings now, so you can see some of the development showing through. Glutes are squeezed and the lats are spread wide, so he wants to come out like that. His delts are higher up, and you can see some of the conditioning in the back lats. Okay, so we're gonna do a front double bicep pose, and we're gonna demonstrate in more than one way. You can do this pose in two different ways, so let's see, what way do you prefer? See what he does here. Okay, so the first thing I notice, obviously you start with the feet. So look at his choice of leg positioning. He could opt to have the exact same position that he had for the standing relax. However, he's decided to put one leg out to the side. So just relax for a second. So let me just stand here. So what he's trying to do, instead of standing like this, he wants to put one foot out to the side and place most of his weight on the front toe, big toe. Push out to the side. That allows you to show the width of the leg. So if you have larger hamstrings here and the quad out that way, it's gonna make it look that much wider than if you stood like this. So you're trying to, rather than stand like that, turn it out to the side. So when you were doing your pose, I thought it wasn't as much out to the side as you could have been. So if you wanna show it like that, push your weight on your toe, pressing forward, and allow your leg to look as wide as possible. Then you can do the front double bicep. In this sense, you can suck in your stomach to look as big as you can, or you can blow out all of your air to show your abs. So that's the two options. So let's see which one looks better for you. There, that looks better. Good, and let's see the elbows up slightly. We want the bicep right here to be slightly higher than the deltoid, so even a little bit more. That allows you to have more of the V taper, looking for the last to come in to give him that small waist. So that's a good classic physique that you're looking at here, not wide waist. And the other pose, he's tensing his stomach now to show more of the abdominals, and as his body fat percentage gets lower, you would see even more abs showing in this pose. 
And next up, we are going to switch over to the back double bicep. So basically it's the same pose, except he has to turn around. Okay, so let's get you standing back. So this time you're putting one foot back as such. He's flexing the calves first, the hamstrings are tense. And what's most difficult to do is to actually remember to flex this side and that side at the same time. It takes a lot of practice. If you've never done this before, trust me, it's hard. And when I first did my first few shows, didn't know you had to flex the hamstrings. I literally was flexing my quads during this pose. I looked ridiculous. I was flexing the quads for all I was worth, but I didn't know how to do it. It was my first show. Didn't have the practice, the coaching that I needed. All right. It's good. We can get these elbows up just a bit. There we go. He's leaning back slightly because the judges, they're going to be down here looking up. The further that the waist is from the judges and the closer the back, it actually creates an illusion that your back is bigger and your waist is smaller. So when you lean backwards, your waist is further away from the judge's eye. It's going to make the waist appear smaller and the back appear larger. That pose looks quite good. You can tense a little bit more here. Slightly bigger bend of the knee. There it is. Yeah, just like that. Good. And relax. Up next, we're going to do the front lat spread pose. So let's see how he makes out. Neat heels in a little bit closer together. Yes. And chest is up. Yeah, and you can push a little bit in the waist so that it brings in the waist smaller. You're actually pressing inwards on the side of the stomach to make your waist smaller. Yeah, okay, that's good. We're flipping over to a back lat spread. It's basically the same pose except from the rear. So turn around. Flexing the calves and the hamstrings from the ground up. Lats are spread. The waist is further away. He's leaning backwards. The shoulders are closer to the back and the waist to make the waist look smaller. The lats look bigger. And that's a good pose. Let us do a thigh and abdominal pose. Okay, this one, it's crucial to flex the quads and the abs hard. A lot of people do this wrong. So many people, they will lean back, like lean back and do the rock away. <laughs> they literally will stand back like this to do their abs, thinking it's gonna show their abs better. Doesn't, you need to lean in fact forward. Your chest should be closer to the judges to bring your upper body closer, makes it look bigger. The waist a little bit further back. So you're literally leaning forward slightly. Waist looks smaller, chest looks bigger. First of all, you need to flex the quad. So we got two ways to do this. Let's see how he does. Okay, that's a basically a standard relaxed one. Now let's see with one foot forward doing a thigh and abdominals. And from this, I would then suggest to actually straighten the leg down. Yes, exactly. And try to turn this more, uh, sorry, turn it down and twist it into the front. Yes. And as he gets leaner, he probably would notice striations going to the side, as in uh, side weight cross striations to show just how lean he is. Or he's not in his peak condition. This is not the day of a show. Up next, we're getting into the side chest pose. Okay, so this is the first time that the judges can really see how is your body looking from the side? You've seen the front and the back. This is a side pose. You can see the calf muscles. You can see a lot of things differently on these side poses. So let's see a side chest. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna get the calf muscle being flexed higher. So let's get, yeah, oh, you see, you see the difference that we're seeing here. As soon as he raises his heel off the ground, you can see so many more striations appear. Good. Now we want this leg touching this leg, literally together. Okay. So he's going to be squeezing this leg into this leg so that you can see the hamstring get pushed out. So this actual back of the leg pushing on the hamstring to make it a bulge out. You're literally pushing. It's almost like when you're a kid and you said, look how big my bicep is and you pushed it over. I used to do that when I was a kid. I did. So it's almost the same thing. You're like almost cheating the hamstring to come forward. That looks good. Now on the upper body, we want to make sure that this chest is in front of that one. So we want to twist over. We want to look 
bigger. As you twist, the further you twist over, the judges can see more. They can see your chest, they can see your abdominals and everything like that at the same time as they can see your legs on the side. If you were to stand straight on like this, you don't see anything. You can't see what's happening. You don't see the abdominals. So you twist over and you can show the front. I would try to keep your chest higher up, more elevated. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's a bit more like how Chris Bum said, classic physique Olympia would be posing that. So you can see here, very strong on the side, especially in the lower body. I would say the development is stronger in this area than it would be in the front, in the upper body. And relax. We're moving on to the side tricep pose. The bottom portion is exactly to a T the same for the side chest and the side tricep. So there's no difference. So he's gonna plant and flex. And for this one, you are going to need to blow out every single ounce of air, which makes the pose hard to maintain because the more air you blow out, the smaller the waist gets and brings out the obliques, the abdominals. So as he gets leaner, he will see more and more definition. You will see a lot more lines on the side like this. You can twist a little bit more and you can literally hold this pose and then twist over as you're doing it while you're posing so that all the different judges can see you because there's judges over there and there's some over there. They don't really see your tricep. The judge over there is only looking at your chest. So you wanna be able to switch over and twist so that all the judges get a chance to see your physique. Yeah. Twist over and go, yep, yeah. exactly. And he's holding his leg position quite well here. All right, up next, we are going to end it with the most muscular pose. There's so many different ways to do it. So let's just see which one do we think looks best on you, okay? So one hand on the hip, flexing, quad out. All right, let's see a crab most muscular. This is where you grab both hands in front and get the traps out, leaning forward. And our third option would be a hands on hips most muscular where you can put both hands flexing together. I think I like this one the best. In fact, well, you're not as lean as you would be, but you can see both legs just opened up. Or the chest. He's not squeezing forward like this. The chest is straight up here so you can show the striations. And as you get leaner, it's a great pose to show all the definition, the biceps and the delts. Okay, we're gonna actually try a vacuum pose now with a kind of a classic physique hand position. So to do the vacuum, you need to blow out every ounce of air that you can. You, once it's completely gone, you then literally suck in your stomach as much as you can. It feels like you're going to pass out. Sometimes your eyes feel like they're gonna blow up. It's an uncomfortable feeling. So as you first practice, you might only be able to hold it for one or two seconds. I know when I first started practicing a couple of years ago, I couldn't do this at all. And I kept practicing and as I got used to it, it became more and more comfortable. So let's see how this works. So all the air out as much as you can, one leg, Start with the leg on the side. Okay. Yeah. Why don't we see a, 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 like a bone arrow pose for that? I know you can't hold it for more than a few seconds, but let's see. And you want this to line up so it looks straight across like that. That's actually a really good pose here. Yeah, I like that one. You can see his arms are quite large, so it accentuates the physique and he has really good legs. So. It's drawing attention to the quads you can see here and the straight line and the eyes looking at the fingers. So it basically looks like he's out in the woods. Maybe he's got a bow and arrow and he's trying to do something. He's trying to shoot an arrow at a tree. We're gonna end this with Pro versus Joe. We're gonna do the poses side by side just so you can see 23 year old up and comer versus an old washed up, washed up. I have to be pro. I mean, pro that does a lot of bike races. Front relax pose. Okay. So you can see my toe, you can see my heels so much closer. If I go like this, it just seems a little bit awkward. So my heels are quite a bit closer. I'm trying to look as wide as I can. And 
you have two options. You can blow out your air to have the abs come out or suck in. Those are your two options. Front double bicep, so I'm always gonna put my toe out. That's my better, better pose like this. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing doing a vacuum. So try not to pass out. So, it's been a while since I've done a vacuum. <laughs> it hurts a little bit. Yeah, uh, it, it really does. Your organs are You need sufficient. to practice. Yeah. Um, side chest. So you have to practice pointing your toes so that you can get as many lines as you can. And you're pressing your legs together here so that your hamstring is coming out. And you want to try to flex your glutes at the same time here. I start down, grab my hands, and I tend to just, I'll actually draw attention to my leg by pushing my head. If you're very lean, we have great hamstrings, you kind of want to draw attention to it by just putting your hands across. Where the hands move, the uh, judge's eyes will go. So if you go like this, they're probably going to notice that. If you do this, if you have really good tricep, you could do this and then just point here and they're going to look. So you could do that and point. If not, you can just draw attention here, grab it in and come up. And you twist slightly just to show everything that's happening. And after the pose is done, I usually will flex the tricep just so the judges have something else to look at while you're taking a break. Usually after that, we'll do another side tricep. And I'm gonna switch sides just for the heck of it. You're always trying to impress the judges. So if you're really lean, even before you hit the pose, you're, you're like, see, I'm trying to squeeze my glutes to show some condition here, okay? So you're flexing the glutes. Have the hamstrings out, you're in your pose, calves are flex. And then I would start like this, show the triceps, and then grab behind, blow it hard, and twist. So you can see the difference between me and Brandon. My waist is like four inches thicker. I have a much larger stomach. So in classic physique, that's one of the downfalls that I would have is I don't have a 23 inch waist. Like you really want the smallest, teensiest waist possible, which makes everything else look bigger and have more of a V taper. Uh, so let me do that. Oh, thigh and abdominal. So thigh and abdominal. I'm gonna put my leg out like this at first. So that's what I'm doing. Hands above my head. And then after hitting the pose, I will do this. So you can draw attention. When you're in really good contest shape, you should have some kind of striations happening. You can even midway flex the other leg, flex down. So you can shake, do all kinds of stuff. Front lat spread, one of my worst poses. So basically straight on, hands on my hips, flexing the stomach and squeezing it to try to look smaller and just sucking in chest up high. We're gonna do a back double bicep. So one leg comes back and you immediately flex your hamstrings, okay? If you push your hands here, remember where the eyes look on the judges, if you have your hands like that, they're gonna see your hamstrings. If your hamstrings are strong, point to them. Flex the hamstrings first, Come up, and you blow out your air. The reason you blow out your air is it contracts everything in the back so you see more striations. And the lat spread, same pose, same thing, flexing both sides. Squeeze back and open the lats out. Next up, we're going to do a most muscular. I'm gonna hit it in two different ways. I'll start with the hands on hips. Hands on hips, chest out, flex, 
blow out the air, show as much condition as you can, and hit a crab shot. Leg in front, hands below the abdominals so that they can see, and you're flexing your fist, touching, so that you can contract the chest. Traps are out, so you don't want to be like this. You want to flex like that so you look like the Incredible Hulk. Last is our favorite classic pose. Sometimes I like to do this. And that's it. Between poses, try not to stand like this and look pregnant. You want to always be tense, suck in your stomach. You're always being judged. So a lot of times the bodybuilders, especially you're eating a lot, you're carving up too much, your stomach is full of food. You need to be aware of that. And especially in classic physique, you have to try not to eat a lot before you get on stage because whatever you just ate, probably gonna show in your stomach and cause you to be bloated. Okay, so that's a wrap. You're looking for coaching plans, our team coach Greg. Also cookbooks, training books, it's all there. Subscribe and click the bell button. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And until next time, we are out.